Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video on the Travel Buffet YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you don't know me already. And I am excited to be doing this video today because it is another unboxing from my subscription with Round Pond Estate. I recorded a video a couple months ago of me doing an unboxing for their spring box, but hello, it's summer. As you can see, I am sundressed and blessed. God, that was awful. No, I'm not saying that ever again. Um, but I'm excited that there is warmer weather outside and uh, with summer apparently comes my new shipment uh, so if you don't know my husband Craig and I took a trip out to Napa Valley uh, at the beginning of 2019 and we did a lot of wine tasting but my favorite winery was Round Pond and that's also probably because they fed me while I tasted the wine and they had us hooked ever since so we signed up for their gourmet food club and with that comes a quarterly shipment, AKA what I have sitting next to me, um, of the, a variety of olive oils and other cooking ingredients because in addition to being a winery, they're also an olive mill. So that was pretty neat. While we were out there, we actually did a tasting that uh, had their wines matching up with certain recipes that they use their olive oils to make. And so I'm all about coordination and fanciness. We felt like we needed some of that in our lives. And so lo and behold, we signed up for the gourmet club because we like to think we're fancy people. So like I said, I already did do the spring unboxing a few months ago, uh, back in February, I think it was. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I've got the link below and you can see everything that I got in that first box. And if you want to check out some of the adventures that we went on while we were in Napa Valley, I've got links to all of those vlogs down below as well. Just in case you're ever thinking about going out to Napa Valley yourself. And if you are, you should definitely let me know because with being a gourmet food club member, we actually get, uh, I believe it's six free tours and tastings at Round Pond Estate for the whole year. So if you're interested in going and you want to do a free tour and tasting while you're there, let me know. You can send an email to jordan at thetravelbuffet.com or send me a message on any of my social media and uh, I'd be glad to set you up with a free tour because Lord knows I can't make it out there often enough to use them all myself, you know, living in Indianapolis. So I would love to see those go to good use to some cool people. Uh, but I am excited to do this unboxing today, but before I get to the actual fun part, uh, let's take a look back at some of the recipes that I got to make using the ingredients from my spring box. So I wasn't sure what I was gonna do for lunch today, but then I found uh, this little Tupperware container of leftover shrimpies in the fridge from when we made some Cajun food a little while ago and I was like, oh, well I could just use up my round pond lemon pepper olive oil and we are going to make some lemon pepper shrimp tacos for lunch. So quick and easy little lunch today. So here we go, this is the final product. They browned up really nicely. Alrighty, so it is snack time in the Les Meister household and I've decided to make a caprese salad of sorts. So I cut up some grape tomatoes and little um, mozzarella balls. I put some freshly ground uh, salt and pepper, a little bit of the balsamic reduction and on top we are going with the round pond basil infused olive oil. So, which is what we've got right here. So, let's get this bad boy on there. Yum. A delicious and healthy treat. God, watching all those videos makes me hungry again. Thank God it's almost dinner time. I am starving. Uh, but I am going to get to this unboxing now. So as you can see, it's already open a little bit because I am bad. But um, I just took a brief glance inside and uh, didn't really dive into it too far. So it'll be like new. 
Uh, so, but I do remember from my last unboxing that it did come with this fancy little card that I did not accidentally slice open this time. Last time it was at the top of the box. When I cut it open with my box cutter, it sliced through the envelope. I'm like, wow, way to start my classiness off on the right foot. But um, let's check out and see what recipes they sent me to try with this month's unboxing. So, and of course, there's the obligatory letter from the Round Pond Estate family, but we will check that out at a different time. So, you know, I'm going to play a fun game because I haven't actually looked to see what these recipe cards are. And right now I only see pictures of them. So let's just play a fun little game and try to guess what these are. So I believe I see some beets. It looks like maybe some apple slices, uh, some goat cheese perhaps. Um, slices of something green that's got to be some kind of herb and maybe like peaches or apricots so I'm thinking this has got to be some kind of salad um, using olive oil so let's just see what that is yeah roasted beet salad with peaches I did not do too bad apparently it pairs with their proprietary rosado di nebbiolo hmm I got to practice my Italian because I'm going to Tuscany later this year and that was not at all convincing, I will say. Um, but the Round Pond Gourmet ingredients that are featured in this are their Italian varietal olive oil, which is what I got last box. Looks like some blood orange olive oil and a Cabernet Merlot vinegar. Interesting. <laughs> and it also, the recipe does list, uh, it calls for three red beets about the size of a baseball. So I didn't realize that that was a gourmet measuring unit, but apparently it is. So, all right, next it looks like we've got some kind of pasta. Maybe, is that tagliatelle? I'm not entirely sure. Um, maybe with some rosemary sprigs, and it looks like maybe some kind of beef sauce. It kind of looks like chili with tagliatelle noodles, if I'm being honest. So let's see what this one is. Pappardelle, not tagliatelle. Oh, so close. But it is with beef short rib bolognese. Ooh, that sounds yummy, actually. I love bolognese. Uh, it pairs well with their Cabernet Sauvignon, and it features their Italian varietal extra virgin olive oil, which is kind of like their staple olive oil ingredient. So we bought some while we were out there, and then we got some in our first box last time. And so we are pretty much well stocked. We've been using it sparingly. Cool, cool, cool. This could either be a hunk of meat or chocolate cake with more rosemary. I've really got to figure out what that little green thing is. It looks like it's maybe topped with purple potatoes. This has got to be some kind of beef filet with like um, some kind of gravy sauce on it. Yes, purple potatoes. It has to be in rosemary. That's my guess. There we go, filet mignon with red wine rosemary reduction. Hey, look at that, I know my herbs. I just planted all my herbs, so I'm uh, freshly knowledgeed with herbs, if that makes sense. So, but this looks kind of like a fancy pot roast, if I'm being honest, calls for carrots, onions, celery, and uh, of course, delicious beef and beef stock. That looks really good. Oh, well, it looks kind of heavy for summer, so I'm a little surprised, but I'm um, excited to try it nonetheless. So, oh, well, and that's just wine. So, oh, estate events, good things that I can't attend because I live way, way too far away. So let's check out this box over here and see what kind of goods we got. Alrighty. So item number one is a blood orange syrup. Interesting, shake before use, refrigerate after opening. It suggests drizzling over cheese, crepes, ice cream, and waffles. Create sodas, sorbets, or add a zip to glazes, iced tea, and cocktails. Interesting. So when we went out to visit in January, um, they did say that they use a lot of syrups and cocktails and things, but I never thought to actually put it on real food that sounds delicious on some kind of like crepe with cheese in the middle I, my, one of my aunts makes uh, something she calls cheese pie and it's got like phyllo dough and um, like either feta cheese or goat cheese or something like that uh, layered in the middle of it and this would be delicious drizzled over the top of it so 
that may be coming next. Okie dokie, chili olive oil, yum. Shake before using. Our quality ingredients include extra virgin olive oil, blah, 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 Tabasco extracts, interesting. So when I think of chili olive oil, I think of like Thai glazed chili things, like salmon, like kind of Asian cuisines. So I'm excited to give this a taste actually and see what kind of flavors we get from it. Is it spicy, is it tangy? You know, I'll just try it right now. And there's no reason for me not to try it. Hang on, I'll be right back. Ooh, that was nice. Hmm. Wow, just on the nose, it smells very herbaceous, like lemongrass almost. That's not what I expected, if I'm being honest. So now I know you're watching this and thinking, oh my God, is she pouring that into a shot glass? she is loony but this is actually similar to what we did out in napa valley so they had these fancy little cups uh that were blue and but they didn't have the same like bottom on shot glasses and you were supposed to heat them up and uh trap the aromas inside so we'll just hang on to this for a minute and see if i can get some of the aromas to release Okay, I think I waited for about a solid 10 seconds, so let's just see what this bad boy tastes like. Hmm. Wow, that is very much olive oil, for sure. Okay, I get it now. So the chili is just some added heat. So it's not really Asian of any sort, actually. It's just a little bit like a spicy olive oil. So I'm curious to see what kind of things that I can make with this. And you know, I feel like it would be good for salmon. We do have a good sriracha salmon that we make. Um, and also we have some spicy honey chicken that this would probably be very good with. So we'll have to just test it out and see what kind of concoctions we can come up with since they didn't send me any recipes for this one. Uh, that's so interesting. Hmm. And I know it's actually pretty common to taste test uh, olive oil straight out of the cup like this. So I know you don't typically eat it that way but it's actually good to get the different flavors and scents <laughs> wow it's really hot <laughs> so i uh, may need a little bit of water to take care of this heat <sighs> much better so now we have their blood orange olive oil and this is actually one that we did taste while we were out at, at Napa Valley. Um, this one I think would be really good on like a salad of some kind, one that has like goat cheese and peaches and like uh, walnuts over like spinach leaves. That is like what's really calling my name at this moment in time. But the back doesn't have any recommendations for me on this one, so I'm gonna have to experiment with it as well and see what I can come up with. So, very interesting. And lastly, we have their Rutherford white wine vinegar made with their Sauvignon Blanc. So we actually didn't realize that we liked Sauvignon Blancs until we visited Napa Valley. We've always been Chardonnay drinkers. Um, and I think that's just because that's how we were kind of taught, how we were birthed into the wine industry. Um, but we were handed several delicious Sauvignon Blancs that we loved and we're like, wow, this is our new favorite white. So I'm really excited to try this and consider what I can make with it. I wonder, does it have any suggestions? Nope. I'm trying to think what I could make with a white wine vinegar. I guess, you know, you could always do some salad dressings with it, like a champagne vinaigrette kind of thing. Although of course it's not champagne, it's Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon Blanc vinaigrette. But typically when I think of like red wine vinegars, I use that a lot when I'm making like pot roast and things. So maybe I could make like um, a non-red meat kind of pot roast and see what kind of concoction I can come up with there. So, so yeah, those are all of my goodies from Round Pond this month. And this is something that we do pay for. It's not like this is a sponsored video. This is something that we personally were interested in because we were like, eh, we make burgers and chicken a lot at home. Let's start being fancy. And so we do splurge once every quarter to pay for this round pond box. 
Um, I believe that this box cost about $100 if I remember it correctly. And now I know you only get four ingredients, but um, I mean, these are top quality ingredients. So we are not disappointed with this. Uh, but that is kind of all I've got for you today. So uh, thanks for watching another video on the Travel Buffet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to come say hi to me on my social media, I would love it. You can find me pretty much everywhere at the Travel Buffet, except Facebook is the, at the Travel Buffet blog. Someone already had the Travel Buffet. Um, or you can go check out my website, which is thetravelbuffet.com. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can come see me in my next weekly video. I do put out new videos every Wednesday. So thanks again for watching and have a good rest of your day, everyone.